Hi guys, welcome to the second game day vlog against Magnolia. This is also called the Manila Classico. Magnolia is a very, very physical team that plays with a lot of intensity. So uh, it will be a very, very hard fight today. And I obviously, I hope we get the victory. Come join us. Okay, we're here with Jerry Dillinger. He had a very, very great career and is still playing, still racking up the records. How many championships again? Nine. I know why. Nine. nine. <laughs> He's acting like he doesn't know. We both know he knows. Okay. Um, just real quick questions yeah. that I, I personally have, and maybe you guys know it or maybe not. Why is it when he never plays against Magnolia that it is called the Manila Classico? Yeah, um, okay, so for people who don't know, this, will, this goes back to soccer or football times against Real Madrid and Barcelona. Okay. They had a version of Manila Classico. That's where we actually got it from. Mm. We made it our own, we polished our own, but they called it Classico there. So we kind of made a spin on it, Manila Classico, here we are. Okay, now we know why it is called Manila Classico. Also, what is your prediction today for the game? Do you think we win? Do you think oh. we lose? And um, uh, yeah, yeah. how much? And if you okay. think we win, by how many points will we win? Let's see if okay. Jared gets this prediction right. We're gonna get a one, one point, point win. win. That's all I'm expecting. It's going to be really hard. Like we played really well last game, so they're gonna really scout us from how we played last game. Whether they're gonna do a lot against you, a lot against Bishop. Um, we had a hard time shooting in the first half of last game, so. I mean, one point win. That's all I'm saying. One point win. That's what, what I'm sticking with. What do you think we have to focus on today? Like, well, what we do you keep the turnovers down, and we turn over down. And okay. we can't let them speed us up. They're gonna try to pressure us, get us out of our position. So I think the most important is just staying poised. Staying okay. poised. And do staying what we poised. Know. That's the theme of the day. Staying poised today with Hidebra. Result number 34, Christian Stan Hardinger. Today, he's going to get the first two points for Paranga Hinebra. He stands first board off that miss from Halalun. You can understand why Coach Tim is starting off tall. Look at the other side. Rafi Rivas, Laput, and Bay. Exactly. Everybody's standing at least 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, of course, uh, Rafi is a little bit taller than that, about 6'9". Good pass there to Scotty Thompson. That was a breakdown in defense, really. You don't normally see that. Oh. Bishop goes up front, Thompson to his big man, Aguilar with a slam.
couple of moves. We'll give it up. Thompson with three. Yes. Like Scotty just did. Now Panga hit up with the possession. C stands just check back in. He's got two points, coach. That's the problem. He's down by 20. Bishop. Z stand. Tries to force his way. Gets denied there. Dan Harding is going to pick up the foul. Down to five, Mav launches. That's simultaneous. That should count. They certainly will check it. Big decision here. What they do here? Will they foul? Seconds left with a shot clock. They don't really have to foul. Maverick. Shot. Will miss fire. Thompson with a putback. No. There's going to be a foul against Hedebra. Scotty actually couldn't have pulled that out. Yeah, Scotty had a wide open layup, though. That's why he took that shot to the foul line. You can see he's wide open there. That's why he took that shot. And then he fouls Bay on the rebound. Starting. I mean, 
get it inside, back to Scotty. Good defense by Morocco. Coach Tim's livid. He was asking for a foul. It looked like there was a little bit of contact. So there are free throws for G Halalon. Still just a one possession ball game. Even if Halalon makes this. Hi guys, this was a tough, tough loss against Magnolia. First, uh, we were up by the half time by 25, and then uh, they really turned it on, and, uh, and they still won the game. Um, obviously, there were some controversial things going on, but still, there's no excuse for us. This is a very bad tasting loss. And uh, what is the mental approach towards a loss like that, towards a defeat like that? Me personally, what I do is I go home, I have to watch the game again, right? As much as it sucks to watch the game again, you have to watch the game again, you make your adjustment, you see what you did wrong on defense and on offense. And sometimes I'm there 90 minutes just trying to analyze what I can do better for the next games. And But after you have watched the game and after you have made your adjustments for your game, what to do within the next game and what to do better, and you know that in your head, then you have to move on. You can't be bad mood and, and, and grumpy for the next week just because of that last of the game. You have to focus on the next game. I think that's rain or shine on Friday. And you have to then bring your best game with the knowledge that you have learned out of this devastating defeat. So all props to Magnolia. They played an amazing second half and uh, this was it. This is the mental approach and uh, I wish I could have got you the win in Never a Nation, but unfortunately it was not enough. Um, we will come back better and stronger. The question of the day is, do you believe that this was a foul on Scott? Comment in the comment section. Please like the video, subscribe. Uh, maybe you click the notification if you want more of the vlogs and you want to be notified right away. And as always, now, Ball is on your court. Mm -hmm.